our earth right now is going through such tremendous change as we are seeing the economy and the financial monetary system unravel before our very eyes. We are seeing hurricanes, tornadoes, twisters, along with many r rumors of war, famine, food shortages, and a lot of evidence to point to that case. These are all predictions of that of the Mayan calendar. And a lot of people have said that when they see the Mayan calendar or think of the Mayan calendar, they immediately think of end of the world, doom and gloom and apocalyptic events. And in reality, that is only a very few of the amazing predictions in which this calendar or this consciousness a schedule, if you will, has predicted. For that of the end of the world is more along the lines of the end of the world as we know it or a switch over from the dark, evil, negative ages to that of the golden, positive and love age. And in order for us to move to that field, it's not only uh, recommended but it is definite that we have to tear down society so that we can rebuild anew. And when you tear down what we've already created, that's what's going to cause what a lot of people are going to refer to as the terrible things, the doom, the gloom, and all of the events that quite frankly will happen. But this is all a temporary event as everything else in this world is. We go through different changes, different cycles, or different ages. If you are familiar with Ian Lungold or Dr. Kalaman's work on the Mayan calendar, there you would be understanding that of nine different cycles in which the Mayan calendar talks with. Each one getting about 20 times faster and what that means is that more and more stuff has always happened in less and less time. And that's correct, but there is more than nine cycles. As I know of a 10th cycle that will happen in 2012 and the ascension cycle that happens after the 10th cycle. So I'm going to go through each and every one of the cycles, explain the consciousness that it has. So with each of the nine cycles, what generally happens is the cycle that you are in now, that is the main consciousness that is going on right now or at that period of time. When you go through each ladder of consciousness, the previous uh, levels that we had before come more and more subconscious, if you will, and the ones that are coming closer and closer to coming into play are understandable but still quite vague. What that means is our current cycle right now, which is the eighth cycle, means that all the cycles we've had before, the first, the second, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, even the seventh, is very subconscious in our minds. And the one that's upcoming, which is the ninth one, which is conscious co-creating, is vague, but because we are somewhat close now to that cycle, it is somewhat understandable. And say back in the middle of the fourth cycle, that would have meant that the fifth cycle would have become more and more understandable. So the first cycle that we have is that of the cellular cycle, which started roughly at around 15 billion years ago. And this cycle lasted for over 14 billion years. So a lot of, or, a lot of things happen and it took a long time for it to happen. And during this phenomenon, the consciousness that appeared was that of action and reaction. So whenever you hear someone mention that for every action, there is an opposite equal reaction to it, that's where it all stemmed from was this original se uh, section. So everything that happened during here, the meteor bombardment, the creation of the sun, the stars, the galaxies, the planets, the water, the natural resources the earth has, 
all came from an action reaction basis there was no okay well if we create the water out of this then this is going to happen now should we go with water or should we go no none of that happened it's just reaction action reaction that's the entirety of this particular cycle and the middle points of each cycle is where major changes come into play at this point you really have a good feeling for the current cycle now with a much better understanding although yet albeit still vague of the next cycle so at the halfway through of the first cycle which is roughly about three and a half billion years ago that's when we seen the creation of the planets the sun and all of those un other wonderful entities that went with it now the second cycle was that of the mammalian cycle which started roughly at about 750 million years ago this cycle was more of stimulus response and what stimulus response means is you understand that you have some sort of consciousness that's pretty much it that the world exists that there's a god that exists that all of the action reaction is consciousness and they still at this point don't reason with different things it's just what they're doing now is they're starting to just it's almost like have your brain if you will but even the mind at this point is not yet evolved and this is when we started to have animals appear on the planet mainly the uh, dinosaurs would come into play and the middle of this cycle was about 175 million years ago and the phenomenon with that would have been the extinction of the dinosaur community as the next cycle that would come up would be understanding yourself of it as an individual so because they had a small understanding at this point of understanding that that is a good reason to why the dinosaurs in fact did go extinct the third cycle is that of a familial cycle and it started about 38 million years ago. The halfway point was roughly about 9 million years ago and it lasted to about 2 million years ago. This consciousness was that of stimulus individual response. And what that means is that you understand that you are different than these other people around you. So when the dinosaurs were going extinct, it was them thinking, you know what? I think I'm different than you are and the world was filled with much hate and fear that it was very easy for them to destroy each other because it, they, they were realizing you know what that dinosaur over there is not me and that's why the consciousness is so basic at this point but we need it in order for us to move forward because our brain takes pro takes information and then we've taken so much over the last few billions of years that this was the stages where it was just understanding ourselves as individuals now at the midway point of the cycle which was nine million years ago the next consciousness that would be on the horizon would be uh, similarities and differences with each other so now they're starting to realize that a rock is different than the water and you might say well that's pretty basic yeah but at that time it wasn't so basic because nobody knew reasons why they were doing things that was a cycle that was to come they had a very small minute a bit reason for the reasons but it was very small and minute at that this is the point where we had not cavemen but the start of the caveman cycle that came through the monkeys and the primates able to use a little bit of the tools but that's because they understood that tools were different than the sky and I mean that would have been one of the earlier things that they would have understood that is similar and different 
but how much could they tell the difference between dirt and sand? That would have been very, very difficult because it's very similar in its texture.